It's going. Down the 70, this. I normally have a mark there. Show where my finger is now. Show the viewers that. There it is. Down the 70, you see. This bearing's gradually turning, you know, yeah? I'll just wipe this bloody camera. Okay. Now, I've we've made a scotch key. Stop that rotating because the shims can start spewing out and chewing up. You grind a channel in the bearing, drill and tap a hole through the side, back from uh, where all the shims are. You've got a socket head cap screw in there. Put a hexagon bolt if you want. See the pin down there? That pins it in. They show them that picture on the side there. It's a simple method. You just drill a hole in the housing. Tap it, put a bolt in. I'll just get a texture cover. You gotta measure from so hard because it's dark. You gotta put a flat edge along there and measure with a vernier in there <coughs> to the shoulder where the bearing goes. And then you know how deep where to drill the hole. Now what we're gonna do is just mark where that is. Here's a look now. Mark where it is with this yellow paint mark. That's about it. And you can put a line. Because this bearing has been rotating. Instead of being an interference fit where it's tight in the housing, it just slips in. Yeah. So instead of putting Loctite all over it, this is another way. Eventually put the Loctite in there for, for the moment. You just want to uh, find there, isn't it? That's it. Is there a fucking punch? Over there. Here. Yeah. You don't have a long one at all, eh? There no, I'll put. Well, you was to put Loctite in there now. Too, haven't you? I'll just put it in there and be done with it. Loctite, all the profits will all be lost. Yes. Yeah. So, so that's all right. So we just got to now. We got that there. So it's pretty much there. Tight because it goes down under that front surface. As it gets down there, it'll loosen up. Yeah, it's just tight at the start. Yeah. I don't think. Torch for a second then. Yeah. Just have a look at the back here. I really can't see it, but anyway, keep that. Keep all of that.
pretty sure it went in then. Now use your torch. Just do it from the back. It's right up against the shims. So if we whack this um, pin in. It's got a washer with it, hasn't it? Yeah, the washer's behind you on the yellow thing. Yeah, it was definitely not uh, squashing in there, so we can lock tight this in as well now. Just take that back out. And even if we do it fractionally shy, be a hundred percent certain, and it's not deforming the bearing. You see? Just put a little washer on it. We can do that too. But the old lock tight will. Stop possibly ever leaking. That'll do. That's it. All the profits will go. Profits? Yeah. It's only four dollars a bottle. Is it? What? Huh? Oh. Uh -oh. Finger tight, see? Locked off and stop it from ever coming out. Yeah, right. We used to buy lock tight for about 40 something dollars a bottle. Well, don't tell that the Chinese will jack the price up. <laughs> this shit's only four bucks a bottle. All right, so. Works just as good, probably better. So, I've got a new bearing on that side there. So I was going to um, do a spring washer on the back of this magnet. Mm -hmm. So that, that's, as I say, that'll set. Mm -hmm. If you set hard enough you know, in a minute or two, but um, you've got a habit of skidding around these bearings in here and wearing that into the, wearing a step into the case. They could have made shouldered flange there with a pin, roll pin in it, so it goes into that bottom drain back and the plate, the washer, the shouldered washer never rotates. Same both sides. You piss off the buddy shims, all these bullshit shims. Hey, you take all that off. I have done it plenty of times that way. Just shorten this up a bit, whack them on permanently and um, you can make the washers and you can put shims behind there and uh, that way the important face never gets damaged you've got to put a spot facing tool in here and spot face all this major exercise but anyway they've been making the shit design for 50 years and never woken up how it could simply be uh, done better that's the word better this is a darn 70, yeah? Yeah. 
You see like a few lines there, we'll put a bead, a, a bit of a Loctite on the bearing cap when we put, finally put it together. Just got to, um, mm -hmm. You want to stop this? 